Hello, my name is Dr. Ladeb, uh, a gastroenterologist with interest in liver diseases, in particular liver cancer and uh, as well as hepatitis infection. Uh, I am here discussing the subject of what to do uh, in order to decrease the chance of your baby getting hepatitis B should you have had the infection uh, before getting pregnant. Uh, one of the most rampant means by which hepatitis B uh, is acquired in developing countries has been through uh, what we call vertical transmission. In other words, the uh, mother gives the infection to the baby uh, while the baby is within or just around the time that the baby is being delivered. And so there are recommended uh, treatment systems to be in place in order to decrease this infection uh, by the, the mother to the baby. And so what should be done uh, by the time you're pregnant? Ideally, you would need to have this test done if you have never had hepatitis B screening done while you're pregnant as part of your antenatal uh, blood tests. If the blood test returns positive, don't be afraid. Uh, you need to have additional tests done, including liver function test as well as another test, which is uh, to check the amount of virus in the system. Usually, if the disease is inactive, the viral load would be very low or would be undetectable, yet, at which case there's not much that can be done. However, if uh, the viral load is uh, raised above 20,000 copies per tiny dot of blood, then you will be recommended to uh, take some antiviral agents to suppress the viral load. And that would be, uh, in most instances, 10 of a day. Uh, that would be given to you by your obstetrician in order to decrease your chance of uh, giving the virus to your baby. Uh, at the time of delivery, the best would be to ensure you get to deliver, deliver your baby in a hospital setting uh, and what to do will be to ensure that you have vaccination on day zero within the first 12 hours of delivery uh, and then to also get uh, an immunoglobulin which actually will help as well on that day should there have been a release of some viral particles at the time of delivery which would help uh, prevent the baby. Uh, the baby would indeed need some completion of the vaccination process uh, and the last dose being done within 24 weeks of delivery uh, and after that period what should you do in terms of making sure your baby is breastfed uh, yes there's no fear the risk of transmission of the virus uh, via breast milk is not as significant as to warrant stopping your child from breastfeeding and so it would be advisable to breastfeed your baby uh, I believe that this kind of uh, interventions will significantly decrease the incidence of uh, liver problems in latter life and the incidence of uh, infection of the baby will be minimized. We do know that the vaccine is very potent and prevents infection in about 97% of people who receive them. And so it would be unwise to not, to not allow your baby, uh, knowing that you're infected, to access this very important intervention that has been globally shown to be effective in reducing liver conditions. Uh, uh, indeed, there are other components of care that you would need uh, because you as the mother will need to be followed up. Uh, but once you've completed the delivery, then and if you were on prophylaxis that is the medication you took before delivering uh, uh, and once you have passed the period uh, that you're being followed up by the gynecologist uh, you will then be handed over to a liver specialist who will then monitor you as though you were not pregnant and and that's the complete series that deals with pregnancy uh, and uh, preventing your child from getting uh, infection obviously there are many post delivery activities uh, that you will need to put in place as well, like not allowing your child to be pierced, the ear piercing, for example, for, for girls with unsterile equipments, uh, as well as uh, not permitting 
uh, on circum circumcision processes to be done in a traditional way uh, in which the instrument used are compromised uh, by way of uh, making sure that they do not have the infection. And I think uh, many other means would be also relevant. So I would encourage you to uh, embark on these things, share this information, and perhaps join us in fighting against hepatitis B uh, in order to stay safe from this very chronic condition that has uh, impacted uh, the lifestyle of people negatively. Uh, thank you and waiting to welcome you on board. Uh, and please do not forget to subscribe uh, to our channel in order to access more videos that come out as well as to uh, also like or make some comments of whatever questions you would need answers to. There are other videos in the series which you will find useful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.